It's a great day at TCS. Welcome to the Wednesday show. I'm X. So here are your weekly announcements for Wednesday, February 15th. Season 3 for sports has started. If you still want to join a Season 3 sport, you can just talk to Mr. Adrian or the coach to get more, inform- more detail. Don't forget, the interact field trip is tomorrow. Today is the last day to drop off your rolls and chocolate letters. There are three drop boxes located in front of the lower school building, middle school building, and high school building. You may have noticed that their red AQI flag has been flying in front of the school recently. Nen and Tian will have more about the story. The quality of air reflects the degree of air pollution. The cause of pollution is affected by many factors. Uh, well, it's kind of a tragedy. With the developments, air pollution appears in front of everyone. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. In TCIS, we can see the flag standing here. How is different flag represent and how it affects to the student life and activities? Air quality is bad because the, the flag the report has um, a red color for today. Red flag represents very serious air pollution, followed by orange, yellow, and the green. I can feel phlegm building up inside. And air pollution does many harm in our health. Therefore, when the red flag appears, students are required not to carry our outdoor activities. So, how can we improve the air quality? Uh, they say that the surgery mask don't help or don't stop all the stuff but I think it helps a little bit. Um, of course if you have a N95 mask it's better. Uh, so generally everybody on the planet needs to do that. I think uh, individually we did the, you know, the, the whole idea of recycle, reduce, reuse, focusing on that reduce in terms of the air quality. In order to protect your health, everyone efforts are very important. This is NN reporting for WTV. It's normal to have pets at home, but one particular TCS student had his hands full with a wide variety of creatures. Tip caught up with Roman to learn more about his unique housemates. As you can see here, I have a lot of love and passion for animals. When I was a little kid, I have grew up with them throughout my whole life and I've known a lot of animals and have grew attached to them. When I go home from school, I have a lot of chores to do and one of it is to take care of my animals. I have a lot of dogs, uh, tortoises, fishes and also birds and I gotta feed them and take care of them. An example could be my three dogs, which is uh, two Pomeranians and one Chihuahua. I need to shower them every week and then need to feed them three, two times a day, which is in the morning and uh, in the evening. The reason why I grew up to be in love with tortoises this is because I have an insp- inspiration from the movie Kung Fu Panda. Uh, Master Ugui is one of my favorite characters and Master Ugui himself is a tortoise and I like how Master Ugui demonstrates a lot of martial arts skills and when I was a little kid I thought that my tortoises could do kung fu so that is the reason why I uh, t- took care of tortoises but even though in the reality I realized that tortoises couldn't do kung fu but they are very cute creatures and that uh, I really do have fun and enjoy having them in my little house.
Rose and Charlotte Day is coming up very soon. We thought it would be good to hear what TCS students had to say about it. Are you excited for Rose and Chocolate Day? Yes, 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 yes. Of course I'm excited for the Rose and Chocolate Day because I think it's the best day to show affection to others that are dear to me. Yeah, I'm really excited for Rose and Chocolate Day. If you can choose one teacher to give roses to, who would it be? Um, I don't know, but I would buy for anyone but Mr. Sean because he told me to go get chili sauce. Um, I think I'd have to give them to Mr. Sev because he's the nicest physics teacher I've ever had. Personally, I would choose Miss Linda because she's been nice to me after these years, in these few years. If you had any announcements, make sure to submit them on the WTV Google form. That's all for the announcement for today. See you next week on WTV. Oh, oh, oh.